Hey guys, Brenny here, and today I'll be teaching you how to make a tiny redstone combination lock that is 100% effective. A lot of people um, make them so that even if the combination is wrong, sometimes they still open, and I'll explain that in more detail in a sec. But firstly, I want to show you how it works. Basically, any combination you do will be wrong unless you do the right one, which I believe is this. Yeah, that's the right one. And then you can press the button and the door will open. Now, at the back you'll see it is tiny and rather simple and, I don't know, I just randomly got an idea for it at night and thought I'd make a tutorial on it. So if you just want to copy this, you can. Um, but I'll go into explaining how it works now. So when a switch is on, it will unpower the torch. So every switch that you want down, you have to put a torch behind. Every switch that you want up, you just put a block behind and redstone on top of. Now, this is the uh, button's redstone torch. Basically, that means if the button's not pressed, it powers this block, which powers this block. And you want it to be all powered when it's the door's shut, because then all the torches have to be off before the door will open but if you have it the other way around that when it's powered the door opens that will make it so any torch being on will open the door so I'll teach you how to make that so you just make a little wall like we have here it's quite simple five blocks and then one space and then a door make sure you have the space or else the button will just press up to the door then what you want to do is come on actually we'll pick our combination first so whatever combination you pick so I'll do that uh, up down up down and then on the side where the levers are down, you want to put a torch. And you'll see, if you haven't got it on the right spot, the torch will still be on. And then where the torches aren't, you want to put a block apart from where the button is. Where the button is, you want to put another redstone torch because that will leave the power on. And like we said, we want the power on. Now you need to do a line behind all of the wool or behind all the levers where they would be. And a block here with a redstone torch on it. Now, this is to invert the power so that it's not open when, like, if we didn't have this here, it would just be open all the time, which is stupid. Um, and when you got the combination completely opposite, it would lock, which is stupid too. Uh, so we invert the power like so, and then we do a repeater coming off here so that the redstone doesn't touch, because if we put redstone here, it would just touch. And that's basically it. Now when we have the combination correct, which we do, which is that combination, the door will open. And when we have it wrong, it won't open because no matter what, it will be still powered here. Uh, I'll show you that with a better example here. You'll see that the torch is on. So when we push this button here, uh, it's really kind of hard to show you guys. I'll break this top area off here. Now, I know this is kind of simple, and it's probably been done before, but I just randomly got the idea, and I was like, that is really small, and um, that's what she said. Um, <laughs> anyway, I figured I'd teach some of the less experienced people about redstone. Um, so when you push the button here, you'll see that it's all still lit up because of this torch being on. But when you turn this torch off by using the right combination, when you push this button, everything goes off, which allows this torch to come on and allows the door to open. So I hope you guys enjoyed this small tutorial. I plan on posting a build and play later today or tomorrow in the morning, uh, depending where you are. And yeah, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Bye.